Hi, it's Marcy again with another little video segment on food safety. I hope you enjoy it. Now let's talk about heat sanitizing in a manual system. In a manual system, we have a three compartment sink. Some of us, if we have a really old operation where it's been in business, say 30, 40 years, you may have a two compartment sink because originally health departments allowed the use of two, two compartment sinks. In the last couple decades, it has been a requirement for all food operations to have a minimum of a three compartment sink. So they may have allowed you to be grandfathered in because of the previous laws. But for a three compartment sink, which is also how the exams will most likely be asking the questions about. In a manual system, basically, the dishes are coming in full of uh, leftover food and they're stacking up over here. First thing the dishwasher would do was take the plate full of foods, scrape all that off. Then he's got the three compartments set up. The first compartment is for washing and it's got the dishwashing soap. The center compartment is nothing but just warm water and that's simply for rinsing. And then the third compartment is where the sanitization gets done. And this could be either done uh, with heat or with uh, chemical sanitizer. In this case, we're talking about the heat. So the temperature of the water has to be super hot. The requirement by law, this final heat sanitizing temperature requirement for this third compartment is at least 171 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's a pretty hot temperature and for certain you will burn your hands. So that means the dishwasher should be provided with long rubber gloves to protect from burning. The racks would have a hook system to be able to handle that and dip it down without getting their hands into the hot water. That water does change in temperature over time, so you would need an automatic heat booster attached to the bottom or the side of it to keep that water hot at the minimum 171 temperature or it's coming in that hot from your water heater which itself has a separate booster. Okay, So typically a normal water heater is only providing hot water at about 125, 130 degrees. So for a heat system, you're going to need additional equipment. In addition to that, both the automated machines and the manual systems, when you're using heat as a sanitization process, is going to produce a lot of steam. And it's just going to start to accumulate throughout your kitchen and on the ceilings, which means you'll probably have to have an additional hood system over that to suck up all that steam. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot of mold and mildew collecting everywhere. AAA Food Handler Training School offers programs for basic food handlers, certified professional food safety managers, convenience store food safety managers, grocery store food safety managers, as well as certified food safety HACCP managers, which prepare you to take and pass ANSI-approved exams from the National Registry of Food Safety Professionals, Serve Safe, and Prometric. By working with over 2,500 testing centers throughout the United States, we can easily schedule your exam at a date and time that is convenient to you. Also, please visit our website, www.aaafoodhandler.com, for interesting newsletters, articles, and products regarding the food service industry. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and click the like button to help us promote this knowledge. To find all of our YouTube videos, search for AAA Food Handler Training School and then click the result that has the light blue logo for AAA Food Handler Training School. When the next screen comes up, click videos and then you'll see all of the videos we have available. Thank you.